Recently, Indian Navy has been procuring various equipment such as propulsion motor, lithium-ion batteries and acoustic sensors, which are related to the submarines. These procurements indicates that the Indian Navy is progressing towards the development of nuclear attack submarines. Navy is also procuring the AIP system developed by DRDO. The air intake propulsion system is used in diesel attack conventional submarines. This further indicates that Indian Navy is also progressing with the development of conventional submarines. Hello, and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today's discussion is going to be little longer than usual ones, because we decided to deep dive into the Indian Navy's submarine program, touching upon various aspects such as present and future submarines of India, ongoing submarines projects, and the challenges before Indian Navy. The reason why we decided to make this video is because there were so many updates seen recently related to submarine development which can be sometimes confusing too. We have tried to declare all the confusion and present simple explanation. Therefore, request our viewers to watch the video till the end and we are pretty sure this will give you the complete picture of Indian Navy submarines. The video will be in four parts. In first part, we will try to understand different types of submarines, their importance and usages. In second part, we will talk about the existing submarine strength of Indian Navy and how much more it needs. In third part, we will discuss about the, the challenges of Indian Navy. In fourth part, we will discuss about the ongoing projects and development related to submarines. Part 1, Types of Submarines the submarines can be classified into two types, nuclear-powered and diesel-electric submarines. The nuclear-powered submarines can be, be further classified into two, SSNs or nuclear attack submarines, SSBNs or ballistic missile submarines. The SSBNs and SSNs use nuclear fission reactors to power the propeller shaft of the submarines. However, there is huge difference in their features and capability. The SSBNs are like strategic bombers, tools of deterrence, stealthily lurking under the ocean with their ready-to-fire nuclear-powered missiles. They are secondary nuclear strike capability for any country, capable of launching nuclear ballistic missiles. SSNs are lighter and more stealthy than SSBNs and are the underwater equivalent of fighter jets. Conventional diesel-electric submarines are in reality submersibles, they have to snorkel close to the surface of the water, to suck in air to run their diesel engines and recharge their batteries, and this is when they are most vulnerable to detection. This where the AIP system becomes important as it greatly boosts the diesel submarine's capability to stay underwater. The diesel attack submarines can sustain submerged speeds of 20 knots in only short bursts of around half an hour. They are more stealthy in operation when compared to SSBNs and SSNs. SSNs are true submarines because it moves at speeds of over 30 nautical miles per hour underwater which is equivalent of the top speed of the Navy's most powerful surface combatant, a Delhi-class destroyer. Swiftly moving under the ocean, it can stalk and strike at enemy warships and shore targets with its arsenal of deadly heavyweight torpedoes and long-range cruise missiles. They can stay and operate underwater almost indefinitely and their endurance is limited only by food supplies for the crew. Part 2, Existing Submarine Strength of Indian Navy Indian Navy has one Akila class SSN, one Arihant class SSBN and 15 diesel attack conventional submarines. SSN Indian Navy is operating only one Akila class SSN, INS Chak released from Russia for 10 years in 2012. The Chakra 2 is only months away from being returned after the expiry of its agreement. In March 2019, India and Russia signed a deal for the lease of another Akila class nuclear submarine to India for 10 years. The new vessel, called the Chakra 3, will be delivered to the Indian Navy by 2025. The Akila class submarine will carry conventional weapons. 
The vessel is armed with four 533 mm torpedo tubes and four 650 mm torpedo tubes. The submarine has capable of storing up to 40 more torpedoes slash mines slash missiles which includes the Club S family of tactical missiles, 3M14E land attack cruise missile, 3M54E anti-ship, and 91RE1 anti-submarine variants. It will be used to hunt and kill enemy ships. SSBN INS Arident, designated S-2 Strategic Strike Nuclear Submarine, is the lead ship of India's Arihant class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The 6,000-ton vessel was built under the Advanced Technology Vessel ATV, project at the Shipbuilding Centre in the port city of Vizakapatnam. Arihant has four vertical launch tubes, which can carry 12, 3 per launch tube smaller K-15 missiles with a range of 700 km or four larger K-4 missiles. The K-4 has a longer range of 3,500 km and has commenced trials. The vessel is also armed with six 533 mm torpedo tubes. Trish Humor Class Diesel Electric Submarines the Shish Humor class vessels are diesel electric attack submarines, currently in active service with the Indian Navy. These submarines have a displacement of 1,660 tons when surfaced, a speed of 22 knots when submerged. These submarines are an Indian variant of the Type 209 submarines developed by the German Yard Howaltswerk Deutsche Werft HDW. The Indian Navy currently operates four such submarines, INS Shish Huma, INS Shankush, INS Shalki, INS Shankal. The submarine can carry 14 Exit Mod 1 torpedoes, 24 external strap-on mines, UGM-84 liters harpoon block 2 missiles. Calvary class diesel electric submarines. The Calvary class is a class of diesel electric attack submarines based on the Scorpion class submarine being built for the Indian Navy. The submarines are designed by French naval defense and energy company DCNS and are being manufactured by Mazagan Dock Limited in Mumbai. These submarines have a displacement of 1,615 tons when surfaced, a speed of 20 knots when submerged. The Indian Navy currently operates three such submarines, INS Calvary, INS Kandari, INS Kurunj. The submarine can carry six 533mm torpedo tubes for 18 SIT torpedoes, SM.39 Exocet anti-ship missiles or 30 mines in place of torpedoes. Sindh Hughosh class diesel electric submarines. Sindh Hughosh class submarines are Kilo class diesel electric submarines in active service with the Indian Navy. The submarines have a displacement of 3,000 tons, a maximum diving depth of 300 meters, top speed of 18 knots. It is able to operate solo for 45 days with a crew of 53. The Indian Navy currently operates eight such submarines, INS Sindh Hughosh, INS Sindh Hudvaj, INS Sindh Haraj, INS Sindh Hiratna, INS Sindh Hukzari, INS Sindh Hugerti, INS Sindh Huvijay, INS Sindh Harashtra. The submarine can carry Club S missile, Type 5365 torpedo, Test 7176 anti-submarine, active passive homing torpedo, 24 DM-1 mines in lieu of torpedoes. Submarine bases. India is currently constructing two new submarine bases. The first is Gawar, located 500 kilometers south of Mumbai. The second is a secret naval base called the INS Varshaw. This base is on the east coast near Kakinada and will have underground pens for the submarines. Now, let's try to understand, how many submarines are required by Indian Navy. Now, that we know the submarine fleet of Indian Navy, let's look into the Indian Navy's magic number of submarine fleets. The total number of submarines for Indian Navy is 18, 
However back in 1997, Indian Navy projected 24 submarines building plan to be able to effectively perform its operations. The magic number of 24 is similar to the 42 squadron required by Indian Air Force. Part 3, Challenges of Indian Navy. First, China's naval strength. China has initiated the largest post-Cold War naval expansion. The PLA, People's Liberation Army, Navy is now the world's largest in number of warships, and will continue to grow over the next decade. It is not only adding new aircraft carriers, nuclear submarines and surface ships but also expanding its reach through distant deployments in the Indian Ocean region. Meanwhile, the PLA Navy's submarine threat had already become a reality. The first distant ocean patrol by a Chinese Shang class SSN in December 2013 woke up naval planners to the PLA Navy operating in its backyard. By 2030, China's overall submarine force would have grown to 76 boats, 8 SSBNs, 13 SSNs and 55 SSKs. Second, Old Soviet-era submarines. The bulk of India's conventional submarine fleet, acquired in the 1980s, are approaching the end of their 30-year service lives. Bureaucratic delays have hit their replacements. A bulk of the Navy's fleet of 15 conventional submarines are over 30 years old. A handful have been given deep refits in Russian shipyards to extend their service lives. India's delays have been budgetary and bureaucratic. The Navy has almost lost a decade in the acquisition of new conventional submarines. It was just able to acquire three of them which are Calvary class submarines against the replacement of dozen of such vessels. Third, no AIP system in conventional submarines. The diesel-electric submarines need to surface at least every day to recharge their batteries using surface oxygen. This when they become vulnerable to detection and attack. The Air Independent Propulsion AIP, is a propulsion technology that allows a non-nuclear submarine to operate without access to atmospheric oxygen by surfacing or using a snorkel. It provides diesel-electric submarines capability to stay underwater for seven days. The conventional Indian submarines do not have a IP system. However the AIP system developed by DRDO is planned to be retrofitted to all six Calvary class submarines during their upgrade. Fourth, shortage of SSNs. We have already discussed how important is the role of nuclear attack submarines. However, Indian Navy currently operates just one SSN, INS Chakra which is leased from Russia and the deal is just months away from end. India will get Chakra 3 only by 2025 which will leave Indian Navy for four years without any nuclear attack submarines. Part 4, Ongoing and Future Submarine Projects S5 Class SSBNs S-5 is the codename for a planned class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines currently being developed by India. S-5 will weigh around twice as much as the preceding Arihant class submarine. The S-5 class of submarines are planned to weigh around 13,500 tons. They are planned to be armed with up to 12 or 16 K-6 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, each armed with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. The Government of India made an assessment of India's capability to design and construct S-5-class submarines in 2006. These submarines were initially planned to be operationalized beginning in 2021 but were later delayed. This delay had prompted the Indian government to sanction an additional Arihant class submarine in 2012 to avoid the idling of the production line. Arihant class submarines SSBNs. India is also building second Arihant class submarine called INS Arayat, which is an indigenously developed nuclear powered submarine capable of carrying nuclear ballistic missile also called SSBN is soon to be commissioned in early 2021. The SSBN is in final stage of its trial. 
After induction of Ariat, India will have two indigenously built SSBNs operational. Indian Navy has also planned for two more SSBNs to be inducted by 2023 but it will be bigger than its predecessors that is INS Sarihunt and INS Sariat. These are the S-4 and S-4 class submarines which will have a displacement of 7,000 tons, 1,000 tons more than Arihant class submarines. It can carry 24K-15 SLBM with a range of 750 km or 8K-4 SLBM with a range of 3,500 km. They are almost double in terms of their firepower when compared to Arihant and Ariat. The submarines can also carry torpedoes and mines. Achilla-class SSNs In March 2019, India signed a US $3 billion agreement with Russia to lease another Achilla-class submarine, which is expected to join the Indian Navy by 2025. Project 75 Alpha, Nuclear Attack Submarines SSNs Project 75 Alpha was approved by Government of India in February 2015. Under this project Indian Navy planned to build six nuclear-powered advance attack submarines which can move at a speed of 25 knots and dive up to 500 meters deep in waters. SSNs are ferocious underwater predators just like a multi-role jet fighter in air. The Government of India has allocated Rs 100 crore in June 2019 for initial phase of project and its preliminary design is complete now. The Directorate of Naval Design and DRDO are working now on detailed design and construction of the project. The submarine will be equipped with Varun Astra heavyweight torpedo, Nurbe, Brahmos land, anti-ship cruise missiles. The Indian Navy has preferred the construction of Project 75 Alpha submarines to third aircraft carrier. Initially three submarines are planned to undergo construction in between 2023 and 2024 while other set of three will get clearance later. The first boat is expected to enter service in 2032. Project 75 I-Class Submarine the Project 75 I-Class Submarine, is a follow-on of the Project 75 Calvary-Class Submarine for the Indian Navy. Under this, Indian Navy is planning to build six stealth submarines with air-independent propulsion technology with longer range than existing Indian submarines. The deal is expected to be finalized by 2021 with an estimated value of $5.6 billion. Project 76 class submarines Under Project 76 Indian Navy is planning to build 12 SSKs of indigenous design by leveraging the capabilities and experience built up via the P-75 and P-75I license build programs. Indian Navy will be in charge of Project 76, which will be the development of 6 to 12 next-generation conventional submarines by tweaking the Scorpion design to carry air-independent system developed by DRDO and vertical launch systems. The program which will be executed by public and private sector shipyard in India post-2030.